Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're doing James's three month update today. I think he's about three months in like three days. I genuinely cannot believe he's that old. He's coming on for that already. Oh, we're getting lots of chat, are we today? Are you telling stories? Tell me then. Um, I think it's standard for every sort of uh, baby update, but it just honestly feels like it's flashing. You'll miss it. Miss it. Yeah. That's him out of the like newborn stage, the sort of like fourth trimester as they say. He's definitely, you know, coming into his own. He's getting a little character now and the, 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 the sort of like newborn days are gone. I just feel like I just really didn't get a chance to appreciate them because obviously I had Olivia and there was like housework to do and it just felt like there was so, so much to to do that I just really didn't get to enjoy, enjoy them, which is a shame because I d you don't really get to enjoy the first ones because it's such an adjustment shock. And this time it's just been like, phew, mental. So, um, as you can see, he's coming on really, really well. Huh? Getting a big boy? Getting a big boy? Really? I know, we're telling stories and everything. We had the health visitor a couple of weeks ago and he was, I think he was like 13 pounds, 14 or something like that. He's just, he's he's coming on really well. So I think he's like the 75th centile for weight. Um, so he's really, really skinny, but you're really, really tall. Yes, he's up to 67 centimeters. So that's a whole 10 centimeters he's got in like 12 weeks absolutely mental so he's at the 99th centile for height so you are going to be one tall boy are you yes you are what the stories are we getting good stories <laughs> um absolutely crazy is height and there's like an adult height predictor down the side of the like the red book that you get and he's basically on for like six, six feet four which is what my dad is so he's going to be the same as granddad are you are you going to be as tall as granddad i think so granddad says he hopes you aren't any taller because i mean you're really tall um so we'll see how that goes he, he progresses over the next few months and years yeah. i know i know he's a happy boy today um, so how's he been getting on? I'll start with obviously the most obvious thing, which is sleeping, which is what everybody wants to know. And I think he's sleeping okay. Um, he has nights where he's a little unsettled. I think going into his second leap, he was he took he was really really unsettled. And then once he came out of that, he hasn't been too bad. A little unsettled. You know, I think it's like all we we'll all have bad nights and we we'll all have good nights. So he's kind of up and down. He's not too bad. He'll feed a lot during the night, uh, during the evening, and then he probably go down about nine ten o'clock. And you're probably. He's, he's really mixed because he'll maybe get a couple of hours out of him and he'll wake up and want another feed and then maybe another couple of hours or you might get like a four hour stint or like last night I think he had like a six hour stint so he's really really varied but if he's up he'll take about an hour to feed and go back down Um, he takes quite a lot to go back down to get him to back down go back down sometimes out of nowhere he'll just have a little quick feed and then that's him back down till the next time but he's he's not bad he could be he could be a lot worse so at least he is getting he is sleeping and i am getting some sleep i'm not saying i'm getting a lot the worst is like if he wakes at five generally you know that you're going to be awake from five o'clock because olivia will be up at six so by the time you get him down again olivia's up and then that's you having to be awake so it can be long long days you feel like by 10 11 o'clock you're ready for your dinner <laughs> um and I am trying to get some naps in sort of between, just like shutting my eyes, but I have been really, really tired, so it's not the best, but we're getting there. Um, so yeah, that's sleeping. He doesn't really sleep much during the day. He seems to just take like little cat naps, like 10, 20 minutes here and there. He was quite good at, he was like having an hour and then a couple hours in the afternoon and then maybe half an hour, an hour into the evening, but that's kind of stopped now. 
you might get a long one into the afternoon but generally it's like 10 20 minute naps here and there and you probably i was working out i think he probably sleeps less than <laughs> olivia which is mental but i guess when they're just sitting all the time okay their brains are constantly going like learning and looking at things and they're kind of developing but at the same time they're not moving a lot so they probably don't need a lot of sleep it's once they start being more active that the sleep will probably kick in again so that's sleeping feeding i'm still feeding myself um i'm quite proud of the fact that i've got to here that's three months i didn't went into this without any expectation and then i was like right we'll get to a month and see how we go and then i was like right we'll get to two and then three and then we're still here um i've been managing to express using that like it's not the haka one it's the nature bond one so i've been like if i go out and about i'll be able to take some express milk which has made a difference it does help i think that's what's made me go a wee bit longer but i'm really struggling now i think there was a point where i thought maybe i could do this even longer than i anticipated but i think now i'm really struggling and i feel guilty for olivia because she's not getting my attention all the time because i'm having to feed him so much because he does sleep not too bad during the night he feeds and feeds and feeds a lot during the day so i don't feel like olivia is getting a lot of my attention i feel quite guilty over that and then james sometimes because i'm having to see to olivia and I know he's hungry and wanting milk, he's like not getting my full attention either and I'm having to leave him maybe cry for a couple of minutes just till I sort Olivia out at the toilet or her tea or you know just do things around the house and I just feel really really guilty that he's not getting like the, the proper attention he needs to feed all the time so I feel like I've done my best. I <clears throat> I started weaning Olivia at four months and I think I'll just be a shy of four months um, with James when I start by like 10 days or something like that and I feel like do you know what I'm happy with that I've done absolutely amazing to get to this point I shouldn't have beat myself up he's had a great start Olivia's had a great start she's got a great immune system so here's hoping that he's got exactly the same and I feel ready of myself to get some more sleep to get more help so like Craig can do some bottles or you know mum or whoever's here and I may be able to get more sleep and maybe just have a bit more time for myself. I mean, it might sound selfish, but I just feel like I'm ready to get be back to me again. I'm ready to get my body back, you know, just rid myself of all pregnancy hormones because I do feel like I retain a lot of them. And once I lose, once I stop feeding and all the hormones go, I can start losing weight and I can maybe even get to the gym and just have a bit of me time and get a bit of Shona back rather than mummy. So I feel like I've done my bit in terms of pregnancy and carrying them and feeding. So yeah, we'll start weaning in a couple of weeks just before Christmas. That's feeding development. He is coming on so well. He's so strong. He literally can, he's so good. He's really good with his, he his head. Um, like keeping his head up and um, we do do tummy time now and again don't do it all the time but now and again and he is really good with he's coming on really really well with sitting now it's crazy to think that like a 12 month you're seeing signs of him actually wanting to sit up um olivia was hated lying down and he's he's worse he just hates being lying down at all lying down at all a lot of the time he's sitting on the like sofa chair like upright and even then you can still see him like trying to like sit up more he just just wants to be up and looking and he's so nosy he's always looking at everything the heads here there and everywhere um but yeah there's there's signs that he is getting towards that sitting position and me taking my hands away and i'm starting to like not like fall down like he's not he's still pretty much falling down now but you can see that he's getting there and i think in the next month to two months he's probably gonna be like sitting for like 30 seconds to a minute or even more um he's just really really strong i don't know if that's to do with his length as well because he's got quite a long body so i don't know if that helps him keep a bit more upright but obviously he's very strong 
um what else he's had injections twice which wasn't great but you know has to be done he's not getting his last ones till after christmas because i pushed them back so i don't want him to be upset over christmas we want to enjoy ourselves his hair's coming in he had quite a bad, bit of bad cradle cut but i took coconut oil to it and a comb and got the worst of it off and that seems to be helping really well and his hair's starting to come in a bit it's lightening quite a lot you can see a lot of like blonde coming in so i'm thinking he's going to be a blonde like me and craig was his eyes are definitely green which is what me mine and craig are so it's kind of obvious that's what he was going to be and and other than that development wise he's just he's just coming on he's not he is laughing a little bit, he's here and there, but he's not fully laughing. But he's obviously really, as you could hear at the start, he was babbling a huge amount, which Olivia didn't do. So that's nice to see, you know. And it's interesting to come see how, you know, the compare. Not that I'm expecting him to do anything the same as Olivia, you know. It's just interesting to see how they develop differently or the same or, you know, in different ways. Um, one way that he is different is that he just hates, he's just not loving the dummy. Um, but the only really time I can get him to take a dummy is if he's in the car seat and he's been fed and he's dry, like a clean nappy on, and he's tired. I think that's really the only time he'll take a dummy. He might, on the very odd occasion, take it uh, during the night um, if he wakes up, but he just is not a fan of that dummy. And I actually think he's going to be more of like a comforter. Like he likes, I think I'm, I'm starting to notice he likes things in his hands. And he's, we've got a few comforters that are like soft and fluffy. And he's like taking it up to his face and he's like eating it. And you can see he actually prefers that to a dummy. So I think maybe when he goes on a formula, that might we might just stop the dum, dummy all, all together. Because if he doesn't want it, there's no point pushing it on him. I don't think it's fair. Um, and... It saves us a lot of hassle. If he likes a comforter, I've no problem with him having that until it, as long as he wants. I'm not going to like take it away from him. So that really is everything. I am back to normal. I've had an eight week check and everything's good. I think I did get I did get blood tests in my eight week check and I got told I was low in iron, but I refused to take iron tablets. I don't feel like I'm low in iron. I'm tired, but no more tired than you would expect from a, a, a mum of two with a newborn. So I'm just, I refuse to take them. So that's everything. A bit of a long win video, but lots to tell you about in, a, in the last month. It's coming on really well, eh? You just get a little boy, oh, you love smiling, you happy boy, are you? Yes, you happy boy. He drools quite a lot, for sure. I don't remember Olivia drooling, so I don't know if there's teeth on the way. He does chew his hands, he's obviously found them, but he's not, like, aggressively chewing them. He just, it's just like he's found his hands, so he's going to eat them. Um, but I don't know if there's teeth on the way or not, because he drools a lot. So we're always going through bibs. I need to get into the habit of doing using bibs more because I forget because I hardly ever used bibs with Olivia. But no, he's doing really well. And we're just, we just love him. He's just a cutie little boy, are you? He's just a cutie little boy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's just so happy. Eh? <laughs> so cute. But I hope you've liked this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you the next time. Bye bye. I'll link all the other updates I've done on him down below. And obviously if you're new around here and you haven't seen any of the pregnancy updates, I will link them all as well. So we'll catch you the next time. Bye bye.